Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am just gonna make some poinsettia flowers. I have a lot of Christmas projects going on right now and I need some flowers like for this album to finish this off otherwise it is done so I do need some flowers in my stash and I have like four other albums started that I just need some flowers for so I thought we would just play with this today um this is the poinsettia flower die set from Scrap Diva Designs you guys know I love this when I do embellish um like here's an example I didn't use her die here this is just um from Hobby Lobby, but I used the leaves bundle die from her um, shop. And so when I embellish these and when I put them down, I do the poinsettia flowers and then the leaves bundle and just whatever other leaves I might have in my stash from her sets, usually her sets because I just love them. Um, so the leaves bundle and I think I have like one from like AliExpress and then also her leaves from the pumpkin uh, die that she has in her stash. Um, so I think it's the, no, no, not the pumpkin. Is it the acorn? One of those die sets has some leaves in it. But anyway, so I die cut out these in a bunch of colors. I just used my regular Big Sizzix Big Shot. Um, I cut out in regular red, like scrap red cardstock. I cut out in red, uh, glitter. Um, and then I have these not finished yet. So I have some in gold. I have like this rose gold. And then I have some in like a white shimmer. So some of these I already glued down together. You could, you could see I do three layers um, and I glued these down. So all of these we're gonna, we're gonna do here. Oh, not all of those are glued down. Wait a second. Now I messed this up. <laughs> all right, so these are glued. I'm gonna put the glued ones up here because I know I have to uh, finish them off like they just look so flat right compared to this or this that's how they start off like um so I have some here and last time I did a bunch of like different colors this time I'm doing the same color so all of these are plain you could see I have some slightly larger ones here so these are like the same size ish um, I've got these and I'm going to try and layer these up right now to see what I want to go together. So those three can go together. We've got these two glitter and I'm going to do a smaller uh, red glitter because I'm trying to do three layers. Um, I've got this gold, this gold, and we got to do a smaller gold. Um, I've got this red. Oh, I got this larger red. So larger, smaller. And you know what? We're gonna do one of those smaller ones again and then change that one to even smaller. And I'm just layering them up, you guys, whichever ones I think go together. So there's that one, this one, and that one, and then same thing, this one. So those three, and those have to just get glued down together. Anything with the glitter, I'm gonna be using um, hot glue. Anything that's plain cardstock, I'll just use my regular Barely Art glue. Okay, so those two, and just figure out your three layers. Like this one, I only have one here, two here, and so a third, like in between, I'll put um, a glitter, so that one works. This one, I have that one. Uh, that's a bigger one. I don't know if I wanna, I might just make one of these into four. Uh, Cause I don't know where else to put that. Or I mean, I could save it for another thing. We'll see. I don't know, I just, I mix and match. If it's different sizes, that's fine. If it's all the same size, that's also fine. I'm not. I'm not picky. <laughs> All right, so we only have two little leftover ones. So here's what you're gonna do. I'm gonna show you guys on this red one and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. This is 
this is just easier for me to use my barely art glue so here's my red layers so all I'm doing is putting a drop of glue in the center and then I'm putting down my next layer and I'm going to offset it so that it covers up most of that white space around it and then just do another drop of glue and do the same thing and just let that dry a little before you start like playing with it so I'm just going to add it to my pile up here with my finished ones I'm going to do another one with the barely art glue and try to like line it up and then this is a smaller layer and then I have to get my hot glue now because everything left is um, glitter. So now I'm going to do the gold. I'm going to do a drop of hot glue in the center and the same thing. The gold ones and the glitter ones are a little harder to see where you need to offset so you might need to like lift them up a little so you can tell. And the stringies get everywhere these little hot glue strings so not the funnest but once I'm done with all of these I'll have like some flowers in my stash ready to go so that's good See, so it's like plain, and then you offset this one, and then you do that one more time. I usually go for three layers. You could do four if you'd like. I usually just do the three layers. And you can see some flowers are bigger, some are smaller. It's good to have variety. And that's also because like in the die set you get a bunch of different sizes so you can do whatever size you need i mean you got to cut them all out because it's a plate instead of like individual pieces which i much prefer than individual pieces number one i have variety but two um i don't have to sit there putting down like individual flowers onto my die cutting plate so this 100 percent um works for me and I think a lot of people prefer the plates because it just goes faster. You're not like wasting time putting individual um, flowers onto a plate set. Okay. And then the ones that we have left are the rose gold. I'm trying to do these all before my hot glue needs to go back onto the charger. It usually lasts only about like three minutes off the charger so I'm trying to go fast here and this is just something you could do like while you're sitting uh, watching a show maybe some Hallmark movies because it's Hallmark movie season I mean I watch Hallmark all year round it's not always Christmas movies and that's okay but I do watch Hallmark all year round. It's one of my favorite channels. <laughs> that and Lifetime are my favorite, you guys. It's probably why I'm scared of everything because I watch all of that stuff on Lifetime. So I'm always like paranoid, but it's okay. I still love the channel. <laughs> okay, and we're almost done. So then I'll show you guys how I shape them. Like sometimes I take out like my foam um, thing to kind of round them out and make the centers kind of like form into like a little cup thing. And sometimes I just use 
my tweezers that I have in my craft room. And I'm gonna show you guys because they're so easy to work with. And I'll show you guys why in a second, the ones that I have. And that doesn't mean you have to use those specifically. You could use the random tweezers that you use for your eyebrows if you wanted to. So I don't have all the fancy tools. I do have like this um, like foam thing. This is like some from Flower Set on Amazon. I don't have like the round tools though. So if you wanted to do this, I take the back of my paintbrush and you just like roll it around here and you see how it already like made that like cupping shape. So you can do that for all of these. You just kind of roll around in the center and it gives it like that cup shaped. It's a little harder on the ones that have hot glue so you might need to like press down on those. And that's why like sometimes those tools do come in handy. I'm sure you guys even like, let's see the white one. The regular cardstock ones are easier because well one, it's not hot glue, but um, it also just, you know, shapes a little better. So you can use that, you don't have to. Um, but what I do with my tweezers, so I have these tweezers, it's from EK Tools. Um, this you press open and then it automatically like keeps it closed for you. So I like this because I don't have to sit there holding my tweezers in place. I could just grab that petal. So I put it on that first layer and now I'm just folding the petal on itself. So it already holds it for me. It's a little bit easier on your hands, um, because the only thing you're doing is opening it and you don't have to like hold it in place. So you're gonna take each petal, I'm taking the petal and I'm folding it up around the uh, tweezers. And you're gonna do that for every single petal, like already it's looking better. So then you're going, gonna go into the middle layer. And you could do this before you glue it down as well, but I find this easier um to like when you're gluing down the layers and you really want to make sure you're getting them in the right spot it's easier to glue them down first and then shape but if you don't care if it's too even or not then you could totally do this um first it's just like when they're shaped it's a little harder to see to get them in the right spot so again, something you could just sit down and do on your couch. Okay, so we got all of the, no, nope, we missed a couple back here. There we go. So there you go. And then all you gotta do is add some flower centers after that. And you could start from the bottom, you could start from the top, whichever way is easier for you to get to all those layers. I find the middle ones are the hardest to do because you have to move out like all the other petals out of the way. Okay, almost done with this one. If you guys wanna get this die set or any dies, I like her flower dies from Scrap Diva. I like a lot of her dies, but her flower dies are really cute. So if you wanna get any dies from her, definitely use the code Carolina for 10% off your order. It's gonna be, I'll have it down below as well so you guys know how to spell it and it's also on the screen. But definitely get yourself some flower dies. And I love the poinsettia dies. I use them all year round. I love them for Christmas, I love them for everything really. I even did a Halloween one um, recently and I did it on added onto my uh, Halloween album. So it doesn't really matter. I know they're Christmas flowers, but you could use them whenever. Just change up the colors however you'd like. 
All right, so now for the little centers, you guys. So for the centers of the flowers, there's a few different things you can use. Like you can use stamens. Um, these are just off of AliExpress. So let's see. If I wanted to use stamens, maybe I would use like these. And this is all you do. So I'm going to take like take two of these I guess and then you would poke a hole in the center of your flower I'm gonna use something else for this so I'm gonna use like this foam thing that I can kind of poke holes through and you're gonna poke a center And then you're gonna put your stamens through. So just fold them in half. And I'm gonna try to get them through there with this. Okay, there is one. And I mean, you could do however many of these you want in here. I'm going for, I wanted three, but I think we're going to go with the four. I mean, we could just do the three and cut off the rest. So you're just going to put some glue back here now. And get those stamens down. And you're going to cut off the stamen like overhang. So there's that one little stamen I could still use for next time since we did do three after all. And so you have this flower with three little like stamen things inside. So that's one option, you can use stamens. However, I find it easier to use something else instead, like literally anything else. <laughs> He's just like, you know, I mean, they're cute, but I don't know. They take time. So that's one option. Another option is to get these little like vase fillers. These are from Dollar Tree. I have red, I have gold, I have silver, but I wasn't going to do silver. So I'm going to show you guys these guys. But once you open this up. You're gonna want to put them into like a different package because you cannot close them again so i'm just gonna put them into this little bag all right just keeping those contained so you can take like um, one of those and you could put it on the center there what you could also do is take like um, these little pieces from the die set hold on I'm trying to show you guys these little pieces from the die set and you can put that in the middle so for example if I was to glue that in the center here because then you don't really need a jemmy. You could just use these. You could still add a jemmy on top, of course. But I'm going to do um, the red glitter. So you could just do something like that. Or on top of that, you can add your little uh, vase filler piece. Or you could do a jemmy or an enamel dot. Whatever you want. So that's another option. Okay. They look really cute. Um, so there's that one. Or you can just do, like I said, little jemmies, which I find that to be the easiest way. So find some jemmies in your stash. Let's do some, I guess, gold ones next. Like these are a little bit bigger. So these might I might want to use on my larger flower like here. So I'll just put a dot in the center 
of my gold. And I like how this is not like a glitter gold. So that kind of like makes that pop out a little bit more. So I like that one. I'm going to do that again for this one. And I mean, you could add different color centers for different flowers. They don't have to match like the white ones I could still do with um, a gold center. I really like that one. That's my favorite. Um, let's see. Do I want to do a gold center for the white? I can show you guys what it looks like. Oh, that looks good too. And even though this is like a little big for this flower, I wanted to see what it looks like instead of putting it on the big flower. But it still looks good. See? So there's those. We're just adding our little centers at this point. Um, going to do this one too. a good way to use up your jammies you guys it might be a little too big for this one but we're gonna try it anyway usually the smaller the flower the smaller the jemmy but that works too you guys <laughs> so you can I literally have three different sizes with the same jemmy and they all look fantastic so that's another thing that you guys could do I do have to find another color jemmy though because I think I want the white ones for the white. Um, I want to kind of keep them the same color. And I need red ones for the red. So I could do like a shiny red. Let's see. These pop out a little bit more. Or I could do like a pearl red. I think I might like the pearl red better. Yeah, I think I like this pearl red better. And I could probably do that for um, my glitter ones too. I need that to charge a little bit more, but I want to see what these would look like on the glitter ones as well. I like it. No, well, maybe with the glitter ones, maybe I want something brighter. Let me try this one. I think maybe I like that better. I can't decide. Or maybe we could just do it like, oh, you know what? The glitter ones. I like this even better. Like this little thing here. You know what? It's a great way to use whatever jemmies in your stash that you might have. And these have a sticky back, but I'll probably go back and add um, glue to these. I mean, I could do the small one here, but like these are so cute, you guys. So we have those. 
done. Now we have these left. So white and like a golden color, which I don't think I have in my stash. So the white ones, I might do a pearl. So the pearl would look good. Beautiful. And these ones maybe want a pearl too. That works for these also. See, these don't have to be complicated. And if you don't want to add the jemmies right now, you don't have to. Um, I just want finished flowers so I can add them to projects. So I'm adding all my centers in here. But sometimes you might want to even change the center depending on what you're adding this to and what project and what colors you need um, to pop out a little bit. I think that one might be a little too small in there. I don't know if I have a bigger jemmy. I do not, but he's fine anyway. I think that one I might add... This little white center. Oh, we forgot this one. Nope, don't like that. Okay, I think we're just gonna go with the pearl. And there you guys go. We have all of our flowers finished and ready to be added onto our project. So, I mean, obviously they take a little bit of time to make your hand making flowers and you're folding all these pieces, but I think they still are totally worth it and they look so cute on your project so highly recommend again if you want to get the die set from scrapkeeper designs you could use the code carolina for 10 percent off your order i'll have this link down below because look at all these gorgeous flowers we just made they're beautiful and wait till you see them on my projects in my project share video so stay tuned and i'll see you guys in my next crafty video talk to you soon bye